One of the crucial factors in caring for succulents is watering them the right way, so it is recommended to use pots with drainage hole. But what if your pot has no drainage hole? We will show you how to put one or two. Hi everyone, this is Leslie of Succulent Social. Our video today highlights the importance of using pots with drainage hole for our succulents. Succulents hold water in their leaves and stems and it is really important for the soil to dry out in between watering. If they're sitting in moist soil for too long, their roots are prone to root rot and might eventually die. So this is the reason why it is recommended to use pots with drainage hole to allow excess water to seep out of our pots and not stay there for too long. We are due for a lot of repotting this weekend and we saw these beautiful ceramic pots which are on sale in a local nursery. So we bought quite a few and these pots already have uh, holes in them. So that's good. They're ready to go. And this one is also looking really, really pretty. Another good one to use is the $1 terracotta pot from Bunnings, which is terracotta being porous, helps to dry out soil quickly. However, of course, you will encounter a situation wherein the pot looks perfect for the project that you have in mind, but they do not have drainage hole. The solution is to add one or even more if it's necessary. So, to do that, we will need a drill. And of course, we need this um, diamond tip drill bit. And this is the best for um, the pots that we, are, we will be putting holes today. Um, the drill that we're using is this one from Makita, which is, I don't know what model is this, but I'll just put below exactly what model and any brand is okay anyway. It is more of the drill bit that is important. So we'll just put them all together and we are all set. All right, so the first step is to add water on the surface and this just helps to keep the surface cool from all the friction that will happen and also to keep the drill dust um, in place. Um, then just hold the drill steady in the middle where you want the hole to be at a 45 degree angle. It will be slippery in the beginning, but just start at a low speed and just guide the drill. And once we sort of created the dent that we want, then we can slowly move into a 90 degree angle and just drill straight. You can just increase the speed and then a bit of pressure. And at this point, you just anticipate the exact moment when the drill has completely pierced through the pot and that is actually just about now <laughs> and that's it you just created the hole just a little clean up and this one is good to go the next part is this one which is made of concrete it actually has a wider surface area so we're adding more holes we already um, marked with a pen where we want the holes to be. Of course, start with the water um, in, in the area where you would be drilling. But you will see that unlike the ceramic where the water just stayed in the surface, this concrete pot kind of absorbed it. So, you know, you will need to add more water as we go along. So drilling it, same thing with the ceramic we just start with a 45 degree angle and we will just then change to 90 degrees and add a bit more pressure and speed this pot is quite thick so it might take a little while to completely drill to it but we'll get there you know we did not have a drill for quite a while as we did not want to spend money on buying drill we were using a cheaper um, no drill method if if you don't have a drill yet and you want us to share this no drill option with you uh, just leave us a comment below and we'd be happy to make a separate video for that <laughs> so we'll just add three more holes to this concrete and 
then that's about it. So as you can see, we now have four holes for this concrete pot. So it will provide a good drainage. Plus, concrete is very porous, so the soil will be quicker to dry too. And that is our simple video on how to add drainage holes to your pots. Thank you for watching and we hope that we're able to share a thing or two. And if you have any questions, just put it in the comment section. And if you have not done so, please subscribe to our channel and we'd be delighted to show you more of our succulent videos. Until next time and bye for now.